What's up, bitches? I'm Extud. <laughs> what did you do? I'm hungry. Oh. I went out. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Come here. Don't you fucking dare. I wasn't about to hurt your neck. That's what? how it gets hurt at night. <laughs> God damn it. Because you like to pull my fucking hair while you're asleep. You know how I get I'm hurt? I'm Mrs. McStud. You know how I get hurt? When well, people, he tries to hurt me. When people pull chairs out from me when I get to sit down. That did not even happen. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Malt Liquor Monday. You just say that shit to make yourself look better. Miss McStud got off work two hours earlier than expected. Which is nice. Yeah. So what is it, like 9.30 now? 9.40? 9.45. 9.54. Okay. Yeah. I was in the general ballpark of things. Were you? Yes. I'm about ready to drink this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The spirit of you must have floated in me. Ew. You okay? Yeah. Malt liquor. Mmm. I've been waiting for a drink like you to get inside my tummy. I made you not be able to drink all night. I'm evil. I didn't give a shit. I just missed you and I'm happy you're home. Malt liquor. It's Monday. How was your day, Mrs. McStud? Good. Did you get your state W-2 today? Or your federal W-2? Oh. Because you didn't get your, st you got your state W-2, but you need your federal. That was the dumbest shit. I just want to ask if you got it. I want to make sure. We go. Yeah, since it's all in the same okay. one. <laughs> um, let me just clarify. Every state basically has the same sheet of paper, correct? With all the information? No, it's a federal. I yeah. Got boom. For yeah, a federal, that's what I thought. It's a federal that's form. That's what I thought. I just, I just wanted to clarify <clears throat> that... You know, it's a general form that the whole country uses yes. to file their taxes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that made you giggle, though, didn't it? Well, I, I was kind of... Like, really? Is this a question? <laughs> I mean, you, you get some dumb questions in life. That one was, like, up there. I asked a dumb question today. What? Did, oh, God. What did you ask? Well, I got this check stuff back, and I was like, oh, it's the wrong address. So, I emailed the client, and I was like, hey, I need a current address on this guy. Check stuff came back. She emailed him back, and his application. <laughs> and I forgot to put the P.O. box. Oh. P.O. box is what uh, post office chooses. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having a Monday oh. with a smiley face. Oof. That, that always, you know, that, that's another dumb question I get. Like, uh, when I ship things out at work, people will give us a P.O. box. And like, can you please ship that UPS? No. No, I can't because a P.O. box is simply and exclusively used for... In my defense, USPS. like he did have the P.O. Box wrote on there. However, it wasn't in the correct spot of the application. I probably wouldn't even look there. But in one part of our system, we actually have to have their physical address for taxing purposes. Mm -hmm. And then in their mailing portion is where his P.O. Box should have went. Right. But he didn't have it wrote in the right place, and he kind of just scribbled it. And it, this is all hand wrote shit by people that are union members, so they don't write very good anyways. I'm not a union member. Well, haven't you wrote like one? <laughs> I'll be like, hold on, what is this number? And then I have to compare his other numbers to make sure I got the right number. And, and let me just clarify for a lot of people. <clears throat> when you see on the mail, <clears throat> P.O. Box. P.O. stands for Post Office Box. Yes. <laughs> Post office <laughs> at your local post office where you can go in with your little Not teeth. all the time. Like, if you are if you live in an apartment complex and they have post offices or those mailboxes mm -hmm. in the front. Yes. Those are P.O. boxes. Well, it is still. Yes, but it's not at the post office. Oh, it's all still time. labeled 
By the post office there. Yes, but it doesn't mean it's at the post office. Well, and there's usually a outgoing mailbox yes. for the post office. I mean, that's a general thing. That's post office shit. Same mm -hmm. shit. You get a key, you open your P.O. box. P.O. box. It doesn't mean for a pussy off box. Ew, why not? Because I want pussy on box. My wrist hurts a bit. What were you doing all day? You're not supposed to know that. Well, oh, you were uh, volunteering at hand jobs for the homeless tonight. FFS. <laughs> <No. laughs> FFS. Which stands for fuck's sake for those adults that Speaking don't know. Speaking of, what the fuck is nicotine pouches? Nicotine pouches? It's like those little tobacco things you put in your lip. It's kind of like uh. And they're flavored like citrus. I guess yeah, they sell that shit. So it's kind of like, it's like a patch. It's something that kind of. <clears throat> my understanding, a nicotine pouch, mainly I guess would be focused towards guys that, you know, dip, tobacco, kind of put it in their lip, mm -hmm. and get the nicotine from it without the actual tobacco, I believe. Why? You, did you realize there was a thing today? Yeah. And they're super cheap. Oh. They're on sale, I guess, right now because they run it. This guy came in and bought two of them. Mm -hmm. It was like $8.78 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he only paid $2.12. Goddamn. So I was like, what's that? Well, Can I take the place of my cigarette? Well, you should just toss a couple in your lip there. Well, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than fucking buying cigarettes. I don't, I don't know if you have to spit for those. I don't know how those work, actually. If I can never sit like that, that's gross. I'll just smoke my cigarettes. Now, there was a time I tried that that snush shit. It was pouch tobacco. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put it in my lip. And sometimes, if I was drinking, I'd be okay with swallowing it. But you're not supposed to have to spit with those. But if I just tried it normally... And swallowed that shit. Oh my god, I felt like a bucket of ass. Dude. Yeah, that was no go. I just want to see what all the hype was about. Not much hype for me. I just, no. I dislike it. Yeah. Malt liquor. Um. So yeah. It's been a Monday. I had the the day off. Did you have the day off, Miss McStud? Yeah. Sure. I actually went and checked the mail today. That was stupid of me. God, you keep having all these moments like that. I walked out to the mailbox. I'm like, wait a minute. It's President's Day. I don't believe the post office runs on President's Day. That's what a lot of a lot of places don't. The banks. Is, the banks yeah. are closed. Courthouses are closed. Yeah. Post office is closed. That's stupid. It's a federal holiday. Well. It's stupid you're off. Well, I saw a post today that made me, uh, it made a lot of sense because... They, uh, they, uh, said, why would you be off on President's Day, but not Election Day? Don't you think people should be off on Election Day, so everyone has a chance to go vote? No. Because jobs have to accommodate you to vote. They have to give you, I believe, and don't quote me, but I believe... It's two hours. Yeah, but I think it'd just make more sense for like that to be the holiday instead of President's Day. Well, no. You know what I mean? I don't. Well, we don't vote. I don't think either of them should. We be. don't vote, but it would make more sense for the day that everyone wants the country to vote to have the day off so they can figure out what the fuck they're Who's doing. Who's open at like six, five? I know. I'm just saying it just makes more sense, really, <laughs> than President's Day. Why well, not? It makes sense those, in my head. Well, <clears throat> I fucking work every day, so it doesn't matter. You don't work on Sundays. How you know? I don't know. I've got a penis. <laughs> Therefore, I make the rules. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Malt liquor. So, the, uh, Miss McStud tried to watch the Daytona 500 last night. Yesterday, actually. And it took forever to start. Delayed because of rain. So it was on the day. But then she had to work after. So I watched a lot of it, really. Um, but then one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen, really, racing happened, which is crazy. 
Yeah. And Denny Hamlin won, and Ryan Newman got tossed in the fucking air like a goddamn rag doll in his car. It looked like. I, I mean, I saw pictures in the aftermath, and it really looked like Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, and there's still no update on the condition, but it did not look good at all. And they said, I was just reading the ESPN article mm -hmm. for this, and it said that his roll cage that kept his head safe was shattered. It was gone. Oh, Lord Jesus. There wasn't one. That's fucked up. Which wow. would also be why they, I had a red Facebook post about a seatbelt mm -hmm. uh, being shown. Because wow. that should be covered. Yeah. He's young. Yeah, he's from Indiana, too. He's young, isn't he? I don't know. I just, I, I, uh, I'm not sure his age. I don't follow racing and whatnot. I thought he was 30 some. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, totally brutal. So hopefully he's okay. I don't like to see that. And, uh, I do make my Dale Earnhardt jokes and shit, but. Oh, my bad. He's 42. He's still uh, super young. He's from South Bend. It's still not a, not a fun day for all you NASCAR fans out there. And I he give a fuck about NASCAR. Well, maybe he ages well. Yeah, I mean, it's the first time I'd seen a car flipped in the air like that while I was watching a race, I believe. A lot of people said that that was one of the worst wet wrecks that they've ever seen. What one was that Indy car race where that dude flipped up and hit the cage along the... Remember that one? Like his car like flip-flopped over on that protective fence mm -hmm. one time. I, what, was that, that wasn't the 500, was it? Did that happen at? Mm-hmm. So I was like, that was. I, I think didn't, that was just an off Sunday race. I didn't go watch that. I got to watch highlights of that. But this one, I was like, what the fuck? Holy shit! Yeah, that was like the final lap of the race. Crazy shit. Malt liquor. Mmm. I think we'll have a drink for Ryan Newman. Hopefully, he's okay. I hope so. I'd probably cry if I was at home watching the race. So. Oof. And now you say all these times you uh, talk about you're not a crier. That's that's tough. Like he's got a whole family, and he mm -hmm. did that for he did yeah. that for a living. Like that would be like somebody getting, you know, yeah. chopped up in a machine in a factory. Yeah, this is true. And unfortunately, like it sucks. Like that they have to. They risk that. Yeah, they risk but, that. It's I just, mean, that's every crazy. job has a risk. And that was that was like just an unfortunate timing of. Uh, events there. It sounds like it wasn't his fault. It sounds like he got nudged. No, he was, there was someone behind him. <clears throat> I forget who was behind him. Ford. And they, he went backwards he against Ford. the wall and then come back onto the track in front of the full speed pack of racers. Well, I definitely will be following his, uh, Status updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh... Malt liquor. A lot of crazy shit going on in the world of sports lately. You got Kobe and his daughter. Now we got that crazy ass wreck at the Daytona. And there was uh, there was a multitude of wrecks in that race, especially towards the end. One cleared out like seven or eight racers at one time. And they stopped the race and had to clean the track and everything else. That was a fucking nutty wreck. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty bad, but then that happened right at the end. I'm like, what the fuck? And the guy that I, I mean, Danny Hamlin, he's okay, but I really want to do Logano or Bush, Kyle Bush. To uh, I, 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 I kind of have a, I dislike, if I was a race fan, I would dislike Denny Hamlin because his name's Denny. <clears throat> Why? Because that's a good last name. Name your son Denny. First names. I don't know. I, I've always had a weird thing for names. I'm like, uh, what the person name is? Ooh. And I've heard like, oh, we got a Denny coming in. Like, what? Denny? Oh boy. This I didn't one's... realize that he wrecked on the last lap too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He probably told me that, but. Malt liquor. What's for dinner, baby? Big pizza. Delicious pizza. Mmm. You are the bestest ever. Mm -mm. I don't know if I've ever told you this before. Multiple times day we argue about it. <laughs> but you are amazing. I try to be. Malt liquor, amazing. <clears throat> Is that drool? 
Might be a drool. No, like all your other hair is dark, and then you have this like one fine line of like blonde hair. That's probably the line that's going whiter gray, so it's okay. Oh, it might be. Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <clears throat> I wish you would shave all this though. Yeah, I'll get to it. Your patchy peach fuzz. Hey, that's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> And you need to cut your fucking hair before you run my goddamn highlights. <coughs> goddamn. It's technically not highlights, it's just... I fucking undergrowth. want it that way. <laughs> I want it that hey, way. I like that song, buddy. Tell me why. Miss me so I was looking up Backstreet Boys tickets. Was yesterday? Yeah. And they're reasonably priced. So that might be a venture we look into. Was it summertime? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the 31st of some month. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, there's only 12. Let's pick one. <laughs> the 31st of February. It's only 28 days. No. Well, on a leap year, it's 29. Actually, it's, thir it's 30 this month. Is it 28? February has 28 days, unless it's leap year. A lot of people here. do this. What? January, and they be able to tell the... I don't know how to do it. You know what? I don't fuck with shit like that, because that's not something I do. So I don't know. I want to know. I don't know. Google it. YouTube it. <laughs> FFS. I don't fucking know how that Google whole... everything else. I don't know how the knuckles work. I just know when they're all up in your vagina, then like it wraps around my wrists and... That doesn't happen. Eef. This is true. I don't, I, God, <laughs> the day you ever tell me to fish you, I'd be like, uh, what about my penis? You ever think of his feelings? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, my fist is way wider than my dick. Eef. And you want me to put that up in you? Oh, Lord Jesus. Like, well, I'll fish your pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna stick in your ass. Seriously? No. Because I know neither of those two will ever happen, so mm, that's, no. that's a, an imaginary. If it does, we've got a problem. It's a fictional tale, like Disney stories or uh, Dr. Seuss. Eef. Yes. I shat in a hat with a cat and a bat. <clears throat> no, I mean. I keep yawning. Well, you worked a lot today. Molliker. How's your Colt 45? Amazing. I bet it is. How's it's yours? My Cobra? It's mm -hmm. pretty good. Not a Mickey's or a Colt, but it's good. Oh, I didn't, oh, you didn't have time to stop, did you? Nope. Man, where are you going to have time to start doing that? Well, you have to get off work and then go down to that other liquor store where I get my Monica's. And then come back and pick, do they sell those 40s? Yeah, they sell everything. <clears throat> yeah, you might want to start That's where that. I got your Mickey's grenades. Wait a minute, what time you got to be at work tomorrow? 5.70. We gotta go to the... Uh, well, I've gotta go at lunch. I'm gonna have to go at lunch. You can go whenever I've got... I'm gonna have to what go What time do they that. close? Six. I don't know. Fuck! <laughs> I, have to, I have to figure out the logistics of our travels. <laughs> you might just be taking a long lunch. Get over it. Malt liquor. I'm fine with that. Mmm. Bring it here, baby cakes. Well, I wish I could. I know. My neck's still a little stiff. I bet it is. You keep fucking it up. I wonder if I tell my supervisor if I can't scan no more. <laughs> I mean, for real. Yeah? Because it, like, gets, I, it has something to do with that muscle that connects my shoulder and my neck, and it's mm. not good. Sorry, baby. <clears throat> but you pull my fucking hair at night, sure enough. I didn't pull your hair. Yes, you did. You said I, I pulled told your neck. You, you, you said woke. I pulled your neck. No, my hair. You said my I finger I said, I don't tangled. know if your fingers got tangled in my hair or you pull it was pulling my hair. Oof. Goddamn. Not cool. I can't have it either. I know. Not cool. Any other time you like her to pull it. You were so cuddly this morning and your ass did not hear them alarms either. Well, I haven't put the phones on my head. <clears throat> like, I know. I, I didn't got, even have enough phone. I was like, how did I wake up to that? I got to pee and I, I get the phones I put <clears throat> over there next to me. Not when you said until later because you didn't have to work. Well, it was like 
left or two. Like we've done that before, so it wasn't a, but then that was in a reasonable time frame to go to bed. I barely heard the bitch. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I don't have it. So I woke you up. Because you're going to shut it off because you took it away from my head. <laughs> I'm not out to try to fucking find it, reach over you, see in the dark, blah, blah, blah. That's what reach arounds shit. are for. <clears throat> Doors. What? <sighs> Anyways. Are you, are you... Can you give me a minute? Oh, I thought it was finished. Sorry. My bad. I'll give you as much time as you need. I thought... Don't rush a bitch. No, I never rush a bitch. It's Monday. Miss McSons worked a long day. And she can take as much time as she needs to finish her beverage. I'm almost done. Oh, no, you you deserve that. You earned that. It's I, getting back into the swing of working so many hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was done. I, I've never rushed you fucking after a long ass day. <laughs> shit, you take your time and enjoy that shit. <laughs> Fuck me in the ass sideways with a goddamn golf club. I was thinking we need to try to find some more job on the hack. They probably all sold out this weekend. He said they had more, but they just it wasn't putting them out. I don't know if they're like. Oh, yeah, we can do that. It's delicious. Oh my god! It's like you're sucking King Kong's dong. Now you gotta shower and eat. Mm. Yes. That's right. Anyways, happy Mollicker Monday. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. And we'll catch you bitches tomorrow. Deuces, motherfucker. Twat lickers.